In a quiet town lived a man named Henry. Henry was a solitary soul, moving through life like a ghost in a sea of faces. He had no family to speak of, no friends to share his thoughts with, and his days were filled with a profound silence that echoed through his empty home. The only companion he had was his own shadow, a dark silhouette that followed him faithfully, reflecting his every move. Henry began to speak to his shadow out of sheer loneliness. It started with casual comments about the weather or the mundane details of his day. Over time, his conversations grew deeper, sharing his innermost thoughts, dreams, and fears. He would sit for hours, talking to the inky outline on the wall, pretending it could understand him, imagining that it could offer him the solace he so desperately craved. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the room was bathed in a soft, golden glow, Henry spoke to his shadow about his longing for companionship. I wish you could talk back, he said wistfully. I wish you were real, so I wouldn't be so alone. To his astonishment, a voice responded, soft yet clear. I've been listening, Henry. I understand. Henry froze, heart pounding, eyes wide with disbelief. Who said that? I did, the shadow replied, and slowly it began to peel away from the wall. The dark shape shifted and morphed until it stood before him as a tangible being, a mirror image of Henry, but with an otherworldly presence. Henry stumbled back, his mind racing to comprehend what he was seeing. How is this possible, he stammered. I've always been a part of you, the shadow said, its voice soothing and calm. Your loneliness, your need for companionship brought me to life. I am here because you wished it so. Tentatively, Henry reached out and the shadow, now a solid living entity, clasped his hand. The touch was warm and real and tears welled up in Henry's eyes. For the first time in his life, he felt a connection that was more than just an illusion. As days turned into weeks, the shadow, whom Henry named Shade, became his constant companion. They shared meals, took long walks, and engaged in endless conversations. Shade's presence filled the void in Henry's heart, bringing joy and laughter into his once desolate life. They talked about everything under the sun, from the mysteries of the universe to the simple pleasures of a blooming flower. Shade was more than just a friend, he was a confidant, a reflection of Henry's innermost self. He understood Henry in ways no one else could, offering comfort and wisdom whenever it was needed. They explored the town together, and people began to notice the change in Henry. He smiled more, his eyes sparkled with a newfound light, and the weight of his loneliness seemed to lift. One day as they sat by the river watching the sunset, Henry turned to Shade and said, You've changed my life. I don't know how I ever managed without you. Shade smiled, a gentle, knowing expression. You found the strength within yourself, Henry. I was always a part of you, waiting for you to see me. Henry realized the truth in Shade's words. His shadow had been his silent companion all along, a testament to his resilience and capacity for hope. With Shade by his side, Henry knew he was never truly alone. He had found a friend who would always be there, constant presence through the highs and lows of life. And so Henry and Shade walked together into the future, two halves of a whole, bound by the invisible thread of companionship that transcended the ordinary. In Shade, Henry had discovered not just a friend, but the missing piece of his soul, a living reminder that even in the darkest of times, light could be found within.